Hey guys, so as you can see, I have yet another haul. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have some indies, um, and then I have some mainstream brands, um, some things that I picked up for my birthday. So let's go ahead and get started. I just want to wrap this a second so it doesn't, okay, it doesn't want to wrap. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first one up, these are going to be indies and the first set is going to be glam and this is did we not put the girl in girl um i think this is from the vampire slayer collection and it's basically a purple with um oh no i have my swatch wheels where i actually swatched it before so that i kind of knew what i was talking about and i don't know where i put and, of course, Baby Pony in the background. Um, where the hell did those wheels go? Um, wow. I, I love when I put stuff somewhere and then I don't remember where they are. Uh, oh, here they are. Um, okay, so, yeah, this one is going to be a purple base with all of these multi-chrome um, flakies and holographic glitter it dries a little textured so you're going to want a good top coat <laughs> here is the first coat okay so it is a little sheer on the first coat it builds up pretty nicely on the second coat however nope it's opaque on the second coat Next up, on, I believe this is from the same collection. This is a green one with the same flakies and the holographic glitter. And this is in every generation. There is a chosen one. <laughs> She's going to be a little motor mouth when she <laughs> starts talking. <laughs> uh, okay, so here is one coat of in every generation. There's a chosen one. These are available on the Glam website now. So if any of these interest you, get your booties over and order them. Okay, so next one up is, oops, sorry, I bumped just this beautiful hot pink with some like, I want to say they're like pink to orange flakies and holographic glitter and this is wish upon a clownfish and i love clownfish i'm really surprised this is not orange though but i haven't been showing you the brush so here's the brush okay i'm really surprised that this is pink and not orange because clownfish are mainly orange but they do come in a lot of other colors. There are whole black ones. There are black ones with white. There are buckshot, bullet hole, <sighs> platinum, snowflake, you name it. I have a 300 gallon saltwater aquarium and I have it filled with clownfish because I love clownfish. They're so freaking cute. Next up is another glam. This is a little bit more expensive on the website. I think instead of 12, it's 14 because it actually has white gold flakes in there. And this is Calling All Angels. And it's a blue to green flaky with those white gold flakes. Okay, so this is just a real pretty topper. So, I don't know. Let me see if I have... Well, I already have it topped over something, so I'll just show you that. Because I swatched these already. Um, here it is over Julep's Marion, I believe. Very pretty. I, I think that looks really nice over that teal color. This is two coats. And this is just one coat by itself. And I just stuck my finger in that. 
<laughs> nice, huh? Real nice. Oh, whatever. Okay, so next one up, I've kind of been going out of my comfort zone a little bit with colors. This is from Enchanted. This is from her fall collection, and this is called Magic Mushroom. Now, this has a green flash in it that's just not coming across on camera. It's mostly showing pink, that coppery pink. <laughs> but there is a green flash at the extreme angles. I mean, you can kind of see it there, but not so much. <laughs> so there it is on the brush. I have become a huge Enchanted Polish fan. Um, I do get her monthly mysteries. I do have to say, though, since I've been getting the monthly mysteries this year, and it's like the year of nostalgia, so she's going back to older colors and recreating them for the monthlies. <sighs> I'm not impressed. But I'll still buy them, because I just, I think, you know, I've always enjoyed looking at enchanted swatches so one of these days she'll recreate one of the ones that i'm really sought after so meh, what are you gonna do it's a mystery you know this is another enchanted and this one's gorgeous this one looks a lot better on the nail than it does in the bottle but it's a deep dark blue and it's called twinkle twinkle <laughs> And there it is on the brush. And here is Twinkle Twinkle on the nail. Okay, so there is one coat. It's actually pretty opaque in one coat. Um. <laughs> okay, so next we're coming into the mainstream. And these is Funky Fingers. <laughs> And this is, it's a trap. I swear I had a color like this. This one is very sheer. Um, it glows though. I mean, like I'm really into these shimmers right now. So I think maybe if it topped over the right color, it might be okay. I don't know. She has so much to say. And I'm just putting it over other colors just to see. I don't know. This one I think is going to end up in a D stash. But that shimmer. I don't know. That shimmer looks so nice. This is another one that's kind of like that same. Except this is a more green toned one. And this is called Salty Kisses. <laughs> I think she wants to make a video. <laughs> so here's one coat of Salty Kisses. <laughs> this one actually gets opaque in two coats. This next one is really pretty. It is some white matte glitter with some iridescent flakies. And it's called Winter is Coming. So I'm actually going to take it over here and put it on Twinkle that I, I swatched last night. Because you ain't going to see shit on regular nail. Although this does look nice over other colors as well. You get good glitter payoff. And I believe those iridescent flakies lay pretty flat. Uh -huh. Let's bring it over here, and I'll put it over a light blue, too. So there it is over a light blue. I'm not sure what color blue that is. Okay. So there is Funky Fingers. Winter is coming. Next up, we have a holographic from Fresh Paint. They came out with four holographics. There's a pink and a silver. I'm so sick of silver holographics. I didn't buy it. And the pink was a pink I know doesn't look good on me. So this first one is called Dark Star. And it's a black linear hollow. These have good formulas. Um, 
I don't really think the linear hollow is all that, um, it's not, it's not like it's going to be an indie or, um, it's not even like, even though Color Club makes fresh paint, it's not even like the halo hues. Um, it's a little more subdued, but there is, what was that called? Dark, dark star. <laughs> Here is a blue one. And this one is called Milky Way. <laughs> She's just laying on the bed having a good old time. All right, so here is one coat of Milky Way. And at five below, these retail for $5 a piece. So they are a little bit more than the normal. But if you can't get your hands on the halo hues, then, you know, I mean, these are a good alternative. This next one here I purchased for the name, and it is Ladybird. And if you've been with me, you know that we had a uh, a pup pass three years ago coming up very soon on the 18th, and her name was Lady. So we call her Ladybird, Lady, Lala, anything with Lady and Lala, I guess. So I saw this at TJ Maxx, and I thought, well, it's a red. I don't buy too many reds, and it's Ladybird, so... <clears throat> and it is kind of like a crelly and it's kind of like in my opinion it's kind of like a pinky red so this one might actually look okay on me if i get around to wearing it it's not like that orangey red or red red it's kind of like pinky you can kind of see there it will need two coats to become opaque and this next one is kind of like frostbite and it's kind of like really disappointing because it has this beautiful shimmer in the bottle beautiful color and this is Essie's catch of the day <clears throat> and I actually should bring frostbite when I do the second coats I'll bring frostbite down and do a comp next to each other but there it is on the brush you can see that sparkle in there not so much on the nail I hate that so here's one coat of Essie's catch of the day has a really good formula fairly opaque in one coat it does need a second though. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pause. Oh shit, I almost lost that whole bottle of polish. I'm going to go ahead and pause and put the second coat on and go play with my little girl for a couple minutes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I do have all of the second coats put on here. So let's go ahead and closer. So this is Glam. Um okay so this is did we not put the girl in girl this one here is i gotta flip them because i don't know their names offhand oh this one is in every generation there's a chosen one this one is wish upon a clownfish Right here is Calling All Angels, two coats by itself. This is Enchanted Polishes, Magic Mushroom. I swear I have a polish like this already from Enchanted. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, this one is Enchanted Polishes, Twinkle Twinkle. Uh, this is... Funky fingers. It's a trap. That's two coats. Very sparkly and shimmering. This one is funky fingers. Salty kisses. And again, this is over twinkle twinkle. Funky fingers. Winter is coming. That matte white glitter with the iridescent. Here is fresh paints. Dark star. Uh, linear holographic and fresh paints um, Milky Way this is Butter London's Ladybird and this is Essie's catch of the day yep catch of the day so like I said I would bring frostbite down they are very different frostbite's a lot lighter I don't know this is looking like a different color on camera i 
don't know why. Let's zoom in. That's a little more accurate. They do look very close in the bottle next to each other. But when I show you the swatch next to each other, Essie's is right here, and the one on the bottle is Frostbite. Um, Frostbite does glow a little bit better, and it's a little bit lighter. So, yeah, no dupes there. All right, guys, so that was this haul. I do, of course, have more polish coming in the mail. Um, I have stuff from Potion Polish. I think I have stuff from... I think I have something coming from Illyrian. I have Booty Babe coming because they had the proceeds go to Harvey. Um, so I purchased a couple from Booty Babe. I have... Mm, what else do I have? Um, I think I have... Oh, I have ILMP coming. I have some KB Shimmer coming. Um, I think that's it. I have Julep coming. Um, and that's it. If you're wondering what's on my nails today, it's Avon's Arctic Waters. Um, this will be going up in my D stash because it has a beautiful shimmer, but that shimmer just is not, it's not as noticeable as I'd like. So I do believe I'll be D stashing this. I'm going to mull it over a little bit more just to see, but I don't know. But that is it for today, guys. I thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.